The shadow is of a man dressed in animal skins. He watches the TARDIS ominously. A tribe of cavemen is gathered around one of their members, Za. Za is the son of the tribe's previous leader, who never taught his son the secret of making fire. As Za futilely tries to make fire, a female tribe elder throws scorn on Za's abilities and states that Cal, a stranger from another tribe, would be a far better leader. This frustrates Za. Her, a young cavewoman, tries to pacify him but also warns him that if he loses his position as the leader of the tribe he will lose her. Her father is intent on her bearing children for the leader. Back at the TARDIS, Ian and Barbara regain consciousness to find the doctor and Susan puzzled over readings displayed on the TARDIS, main console. The doctor tells them they have gone back in time. This annoys Ian, who demands concrete proof. The doctor opens the door, revealing the barren desert, and all four go outside. The doctor professes confusion as to why the TARDIS has retained the shape of a police box. Ian apologizes to Susan and Barbara for stubbornly disbelieving the doctor's story. Susan is also surprised that the TARDIS is still in the shape of a police box. The doctor is elsewhere, looking for samples of rocks and plants to estimate the current date when the caveman who was watching the TARDIS sneaks up on him and attacks him. His three companions hear him shout and run to his rescue. When they get there, all they find is the doctor's bag, hat, and Geiger counter smashed. Susan hysterically runs off to look for him. Ian and Barbara soon follow but not before Ian finds the sand is freezing cold. Horg, her's father, tells Za that Cal claims he knew how to make fire in his old tribe. Za angrily responds that Cal's tribe all died out. Cal would have died too if this tribe had not saved him. Her again warns him. Cal is bringing in meat and winning favor amongst the tribe. Za says if he has to kill a few people to exert his authority, he will. At this point, Cal, who attacked the doctor, comes in with the old man's unconscious body. Cal tells the tribe that he saw the doctor make fire and he should be the leader of the tribe now, that the doctor had immense strength and fighting prowess. Za scorns and mocks Cal, but Horg states that Cal is doing far more for the tribe than Za and if his captive can create fire, Cal should be made the leader. Za says the doctor should be taken to the Cave of Skulls and sacrificed so Orb will return. At this point, the doctor wakes up. He says he can create fire for the whole tribe without any need for killing, but he soon realizes he has lost his matches. When he tells the tribe he will need to go back to the TARDIS before they get fire, Za mocks Cal, saying his promise of, an old man who can make fire, was lies. The tribe turns against Cal. In his frustration, he pulls his knife on the doctor. Cal is on the verge of killing him when Susan, Barbara, and Ian attack the tribe, knocking Cal off the doctor. The companions are soon overpowered. Cal approaches Barbara. Before he can kill her, Za gets in the way and says the four must be taken to the Cave of Skulls and sacrificed as a gift to Orb. The doctor and his companions are led away. Horg tries to take her from Za, but Za insists that with the doctor's sacrifice, Orb will return and Fire will return also. The tribe will retain Za as the leader. Horg seems to accept this. The four travelers are sealed in the tribe's cave of skulls with the bones of many prisoners, where Ian notices that the skulls have all been split open.